Graduated, elevated. Now it's my time to shine, yeah, let's go. Graduated, elevated. Now it's my time to shine, yeah, let's go. Major moves, power moves. Take it to the top one time, non stop. Gotta go, gotta flow. Take it to the Welcome to PhD Hard Talk. I am Norma McGurney and thank you so much, um, Faria, for your time today. Could you please introduce yourself, your research, your university and we can crack on. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, Norma, for having me. Uh, I am Faria and I have uh, not exactly I have finished it because it will take some more time. I am doing uh, self-funded research in, about Norway's uh, marketing, digital marketing, uh, AI-based basically. And uh, after doing this, I will be, uh, with the help of a research lab, I'll be publishing my thesis. Now I am uh, taking some help from those research labs situated in Oslo, and it's known as NOROF, NOROF Oslo. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a private school, you can say. So they have uh, really liked my topic, and they have uh, welcomed me to work with them. Uh, as I'm residing in Norway, uh, there are two types of PhDs. One is academia, uh, mm -hmm. just like the common PhD overall in the world. And the second is a self-funded or we can say doctor fellows. This is uh, for the professionals, basically. And I'm doing the second one. So for this, I have to have a very unique idea to get accepted in any of the organization or any of the research labs or any of the universities. So I have been trying for years to do so. This year, I have been accepted somewhere, so looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing news, and thank you so much for explaining the difference, because I think um, in terms of our knowledge, sometimes we always think of the PhD, which is a traditional route. We don't think of, we call it the DBA here in the UK, which okay. is the Doctor of Business Administration. Yeah. Um, that's what we call it here. Mm -hmm. But I may be corrected by somebody on the internet. That's all right. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so in terms of the first question then, um, what made you want to research this topic in terms of AI and digital marketing? What excited you? Uh, well, we are all living in the meta world because mm -hmm. uh, we're just sitting at one part of the world and connected with the universe. <laughs> Sometimes I can say outside of the world as well, what's happening over the space and everything. And the marketing platform, uh, it's it's changing rapidly. Every year it has been changing. And I have been in the professional field for more than eight years mm -hmm. in the sales sector, in the content sector, in the social media marketing sector. So I know I have seen people uh, working pattern changing and uh, that is why I thought of doing a research on this mm -hmm. especially in the Scandic area as I, I said that I'm residing in Norway and for doing the doctor fellows or the professional PhD we have to focus on the country we are based in so I thought of doing a research on the Norwegian firms how they are developing and artificial intelligence is taking over I think this is the year it's a it's it's a booming industry and it will be ruling I think for next five years at least at least so yes that is how I have chosen my topic and as everyone is so much fond of content marketing like inbound marketing social media marketing so I, I thought that this is a hot topic to work on indeed I think um Elon Musk is the challenger yet the pioneer of yes. <laughs> digital marketing yes. he's a yeah. walking contrast um mm -hmm. you know in terms of digital marketing the next question that I have for you is how does your research help the community as you've mentioned that you are in in Norway and your research is focused on Norway how does that benefit the community this will be benefit. This will be a very beneficial thing for the community, not for the Scandic only, but for the world. Because when the machines can take over the human emotion, mm -hmm. oh well, two things can happen. Either everything will be destroyed, 
or people will be like running super, 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 super fast. Because I think that if we uh, mix human intelligence or human emotion with the artificial intelligence, um, I don't know, maybe a bomb will occur because um, we don't need the employees anymore, human employees, mm -hmm. machines can work. And whatever we are thinking, whatever we are trying to, for example, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something. I'm just, now what we do, when we uh, visit some websites, they take the cookies, we have to accept the cookies and everything, they take the uh, information and then they start suggesting us in, in many ways, right? Mm -hmm. This will be advanced. And now I think we have to go through many steps. Next time, maybe uh, within four or five years, we just don't need to do anything. Just think about it. It will be coming automatically, something like that. Like like we're, we're, we're doing, like you and me, we're talking now. For example, mm -hmm. if it would be the era where there would be no internet, we would have to meet physically and, you know, like, yeah. So my project or my field of research is something which is very future facing. That's what the, the universities and the professor told me that Norway is not in this stage anymore. Like it takes it takes time. But whatever you have come up with, if you can prove it in the lab, if you can run something on it, I think this is the this is the idea which people will be willing to buy from me. So yeah. I'm just looking for the scopes to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you're saying, but, um, you know, to, to, to echo Elon Musk, is it Elon Musk, you, you, we need governance. And I think the question I have is, do you somewhat feel fearful of what AI can do? Because there is no governance. And if you look at NATO, it was built to, to enforce governance. But when we look at social media, yes, there are policies here and there. And then we look at the movement in terms of AI, automation, in terms of factories, everything is happening at this moment in time. And I have concerns in terms of the governance. Do you, Did you pick that up with your research? Because that's a oh, big well, red flag. Well, yes. For example, I did mention some of this in my thesis as well, but when you move forward you will be having some of the challenges like the the higher the profit or the benefit the higher the risks mm -hmm. uh, we have to we have to accept it mm. because um, there are policies sometimes I think that this is just an eye wash because uh, something which is ethical to me may seem unethical to you so yes and and on the other hand when we are online i think we have sacrificed all of our privacies we're just online mm -hmm. machines can read everything like if if you look at the big data what what the farms are doing they can just extract everything what maybe a human can do but it it can take him or her years to do that but the machines can do it like within days or maybe within hours so yeah this is this this is scary maybe but this is important as well <laughs> this is important yeah <laughs> so I, I i think it's 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 very um revolutionary but it is very scary because no one said hmm let's sit down and come up with some um bullet points here because it's efficient Mm -hmm. However, like you said, if you're on the internet, it's like being naked on the streets because all the information is out yeah. there for anybody. Yeah. It can be used in the black market. It can be used in the normal world, as we call it. Anything mm -hmm. can happen. So for yeah. me, um, when I'm listening to you, I'm excited, but I have fear in terms of governance, which leads me on to the next question. You know, when mm. you were doing your research and what were the pros and cons, if you were to to share with us the three cons and the three pros that you thought, you know what, this is really exciting, but oh, these are the key blockers here or you didn't identify any? Well, uh, there are 
in my research, there are five contributions overall, mm -hmm. which is very much helpful for the nation or for the world, marketing world, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the innovativeness and the advanced version of artificial intelligence, because my uh, my thesis actually it deals with the AI version 2.0, mm -hmm. not this one, the next one, which is mm -hmm. going to come. And uh, <clears throat> secondly, uh, it uh, the research stream theoretical the theoretical foundations on the ev evolution on factors of AI marketing. As I have said, that evolution it will be evolving. Thirdly, there are several contributions which show that the transformation of the behavior of the farms. This is important for us to understand. Mm -hmm. Fourthly, there will be three marketing theoretical perspectives to support the understanding of the entire thesis. Mm -hmm. And finally, I have come with uh, the model, uh, AI version 2.0 model, mm -hmm. but it needs to be tested empirically. This, mm -hmm. these, are the, these are the pros, I can say. And the cons, yes. Um, well, I, I have just mentioned the benefits. There can be some inevitable challenges which may harm the firms, may harm the working population, may harm many things, I think, because it sometimes depends on the geographical uh, geographical barriers as well, but I haven't mentioned those. So uh, these things need to be researched in future. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, uh, as far I can show that there are ethics included, but there are some unethical factors there might be some of the unethical like major unethical factors which can come up if this model works if the next generation ai comes in the market uh that needs to be done as well so those are the cons actually i have just um written few about those like mm -hmm. just i have to touch the point because this has to be empirically tested first so i mm -hmm. can't i can't say the consequences beforehand so mm -hmm. yes <clears throat> Thank you very much for your response. I guess because you are pioneering um, this research, the question I would ask, which you've touched on, is ethics. Mm. If you were to pitch right now to the policy writers in Norway, what are the three key things that you would say they need to consider with this new version of AI? Mm. They need to consider... Well, at the top of my head, it comes that uh, artificial intelligence works as a human hand in the field of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. They need to consider this first because we we create the technologies or we come up with the innovations to make our works easier. Mm -hmm. So um, they have to consider this at first. And then they have to consider this as well, knowingly or not knowingly, like willingly or unwillingly, Norway is moving towards the next version, AI marketing. This is moving. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't stop the technologies. We can't stop the way of people's thinking. We can't stop going forward. We can't stop it. Like once we stop or once we give the barriers on different things, then I think the nation will not be developed. Maybe others will come up maybe with the same ideas, maybe something more advanced. So mm -hmm. they have to keep this in mind. And, they, and the third one, they can they can consider that yes, e-marketing or like internet marketing mm -hmm. has more chances to gain the competitive advantages. These three things. Hmm. I think you touched on, it's not just Norway, it is global. Right. Yes. And I am thinking of the global south uh, at this moment in time. Surely if we don't, I know you haven't tested your model and, and I understand, you know, it takes a lot of work to build a model. So high five to you, like <laughs> high five there. Um, <laughs> and to test it, I know that would take probably that's a postdoc for you to test mm. that, um, which, you know, you've touched on, you've been accepted elsewhere. So mm. again, and then to run it out in terms of the next steps after that, we know that's mm. a bit of work as well, which will go into your teaching years if you want to stay in academia, that mm. is. But I'm now thinking you've, you know, you, you're, you're saying or you've made the statement to say it will benefit everybody globally. 
there's no governance in some of our African nations. They, you know, and if you look at some of the poorest regions in in Asia, how do you know trafficking is my mm. concern of young mm. children and of yeah. women. And when I'm hearing that we've got a new version, I know we would use it for H&M, Max and Spencer's, you know, the Zara's and mm. farms, agriculture's booming, you know, they're, they're pushing for that for us to be organic. But I know there's somebody sat there at home going, I can't wait. Now I can get, get my um, auction going to sell a human being or to sell a kidney. And that's what <laughs> scares me. No, no, you, you love that, that that really terrifies me because I'm thinking there, there's somebody there who's going, oh, yeah, you're looking at the bleach from the shops in terms of how you market it. I'm thinking that's a limb. That would be a hundred thousand pounds for me, or two hundred thousand pounds for me, and that really saddens me. That's why I'm asking about the governance to say, what's your vision then? If if that's going to explode globally, what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, <clears throat> let's just. Uh, I know that uh, in many nations, it's not uh, it's not possible for them at least not in this phase, maybe not mm -hmm. in coming 10 years, but once it started, it will be spreading. It will be spreading like virus, I think, because mm -hmm. um, at first, no one, For if, if I take a small example that uh, before 10 years, before 15 years, Japan, they used to build the robots to work in their factories. Mm -hmm. And this was kind of like, science fiction for us but this this idea or this technology this technique has been spread over the world like i think now in many companies throughout the world in many nations maybe mm. not the, in, the, in the vast majority like japan but they are using machineries they are using robots they are using very advanced softwares mm -hmm. to work right so yes this 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 comes maybe not overnight, but yeah. And uh, the governance, as you say, that people have to work together. People have to understand the importance. People have to learn about the trans trans transparency, accountability. So yes, for example, there is there is a thing which is going on in the world right now: cryptocurrency. Mm. This is. Uh, Cryptocurrency, you have heard of it. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm. Like in Norway, this is not legalized. Crypto is not is not permitted in Norway. But if we look at China, they I think cryptocurrency is um, considered as kind of like local currency. They can they can shop by using cryptos. Mm. Uh, yeah, in Norway, the, the government said that we don't know from where it's coming and from it, uh, like to where it's going, so mm. we can't allow this. On the other hand, Elon Musk, he declared once, maybe I don't know, that we can buy Tesla by using crypto. So the crypto's rate went high mm. and yeah, so just like that. Maybe someday we can see that cryptocurrency became very normal to the world. People, have, people are using it. No transparency problem, no accountability problem. People are so happy with it. Mm. So, yeah. No, I, 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 I understand. And in terms of marketing, then, how did you get into the world of wanting to research AI marketing? Was that because you worked in industry marketing or just? I, yes, it's about like my practical field. It has encouraged me. And if I have to, if, if I need to uh, upgrade my career path, then mm -hmm. I, I can see that now mostly the farms want that you have to be tech savvy and you have to be, you know, now the job descriptions, job specification has been changed to mm. tech savvy. No matter what is it, <laughs> just being a sales advisor, you have to be tech savvy. I was like, okay, now it, it became a cliche word. Okay, mm. so what is this tech savvy? Let's 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 just see. 
And I have said that traditional marketing or outbound marketing has been taken over by inbound marketing. I have been marketing students since 2016. No, I think since 2013. Yeah. So I was like in my theoretical field, in my practical field, marketing is moving towards the artificial intelligence, mm. basically. So that is why I have chosen this field, this path. <laughs> well, basically, to get a job, you had to be tech savvy. And that just opened more doors in terms of research. Yes. 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 <laughs> well, do you think people are actually tech savvy or, you know, AI or the technology is actually mm. the savvy element? Because you don't really need to know much from using um social media for example you can schedule everything and it it will just chat box whatever it is it will just type it up for you and then you've got it people aren't mm. thinking do you think in a way not that i mean it in a bad way but do you think that you know we're becoming redundant in terms of using our brains essentially we have we have become like that for example when we chat we just we are so reluctant to use the entire word we just make it so short mm -hmm. sometimes the other person they don't understand <laughs> what, what is she on about? <laughs> no, seriously <laughs> and if you look at the chat boards just look mm -hmm. at them how can i help you it comes with the four options come on I have more to say. It's it's not within mm. these four options. I was like, okay, typing human. I don't understand. Do you need a human assistance? Yes or no? Yes, I said human. Okay. So, you know, this, <laughs> these things in my thesis, I have said that this chat yeah. both need to be replaced by something. like Because this is a part of great marketing. Whenever mm. a person um, tries to book a demo in the website or maybe... Uh, clicks on the CTA button, call to action, then the stupid chatbots come and ask the stupid questions. So I was like, no, uh, if the firm has to be more competitive, then they have to put something over there. Like it has to be more advanced version, maybe mm. not a human. They cannot talk like a human, but at least more in detail. Mm. So, and yes, people are more reluctant. That's what, because in, in many cases, what I have seen, what I have seen that in many universities, uh, there, there is a post teacher's assistance. This has been uh, replaced by the AI. Uh, yes, because uh, sometimes the teachers need to go through the MCQ sets of answers. Okay, 40 students, they have sat for the quiz, only the MCQs, AI can do it. They know the answers. Mm -hmm. Just put the scripts in the machine, they will be doing it. The teacher's assistance, no, no need of TA. That's, that's done, that's gone. So, yes, people are reluctant. 